Now let's add the final part to our static screen effect. I want to animate that texture. Let's go to the Unity scripting reference. And let's start with renderer, because we know about that. Okay. Now we're dealing with the material. The material has the texture on it, and that's what we want to animate. So let's go to material. That hasn't taken us far. Let's look at the component material. Okay. And right up the top we see some things that we're going to be using. Main texture offset. Same as using set texture offset with main texture main. So the main texture offset is a vector two. Now I can't quite easily explain UVs and UV offsets. The most simple way of looking at it is we have our material, we have our texture. Okay. When we import the texture, we have this wrap mode choice of clamp and repeat. And I think I showed you previously what happens when you clamp it. It means that the texture will not be repeated. So when you swap the UVs, we're setting the offset of the texture. So if we set the UV on the X to 0.5, the texture would actually start to be drawn would start to be drawn from this point here. What happens when we get to the end? Well we set the wrap mode to repeat so when we get to the end here we actually come out here but out here this is going to be tiled. Okay, So it's like chopping the image in half and swapping it over there. So that's what setting the UV is. We can set any point here to vector 2 so we set the X and Y and if our Texture is set to repeat, so it's tileable. Then we're just changing the position of that texture. And that's what this command is going to do. So it's renderer, material, main texture offset equals vector 2. So we're just assigning the x and y coordinate of that texture that we're going to start using the texture from. Okay, renderer material. Where have we stored a reference to our renderer? So in the player help, we have our static renderer. That is the renderer of the static object. And there's its material. So we could even create a separate function and then just call that function from both decrease health and increase health. So what are we going to do? We're going to offset main texture. And how do we do that? Let's go back to the API. Renderer material main texture offset. Alright, let's just copy that out and then let's just adapt it to our own needs. So that's what's going to happen. That is what's going to happen when we get to the end. So we already have stored a reference to the renderer because it's on a different game object. Main texture offset. Now we want to randomize this offset, so we somehow have to work out random values for our vector two. So let's create a couple of variables that we can calculate and store random values in. So, uh, so let's just call it random x offset. This we have type float because it's just the x equals random. Okay. Now UVs are normally in the range between 0 and 1, both on the x and the y. Okay, 0 for minimum one for maximum. So it's a normalized value. So let's go to our random. Let's open up a new reference. Now we've been using random range this whole time. 
Okay, I'm just going to point you to another one. Random value. Return some random number between 0 and 1. But these are floats. Okay, so this is going to give us a floating point value between 0 and 1. That's exactly what we're looking for. So here we go. That's why I brought it up. We don't have to type any values in. We just use random dot value, and that will automatically give us a float between zero and one. So our random offset x will be random value. Let's just create another one. A random y offset will be a random value. So now we can construct this vector two from the two random values that we've just created. And there we have it. So all we have to do now is call this function when we're decreasing or increasing health. Let's just put it at the bottom. That's all there is to it. Let's see if it's worked. Now by definition, if I highlight the static object here, if I hit play, we should see it animating there already. Okay, we can definitely see the values being animated. If I just pause it there. So if we watch these offset values, you just watch them going crazy there. Okay, so there is some random. So it's not showing up in the picture preview, but we can see the values are being modified. Now let's bring it in visually so we can see it happening. Okay, I don't know if you can see that with the lag, but I've got an old TV fuzzy white noise screen static effect happening there. There we go. So that has been implemented. And there is the final part of functionality to our static object.